In this instructional video, we will be assembling the pole of the Lifetime Youth Basketball System. Your system may look different than the model shown, but the steps performed will still apply. Loosen the top and middle poles without separating the poles. Remove the plastic by pulling it up and off while the top pole is still inside the middle pole. Hold the top pole high enough out of the middle pole to insert the screw into the back of the middle pole. Please note, the screw will spin freely once it is inserted. Now install the adjustment knob. The knob will face the back of the system. Align the hole in the middle pole with the slot in the bottom pole and install the provided hardware. Forcefully strike the bottom pole on a piece of wood or cardboard five to six times to seat the bottom pole to the middle pole. Make sure the slot on the bottom pole is completely covered before continuing the assembly. Please note, this step cannot be reversed, so make sure the pole is oriented correctly before seating the poles together. In this instructional video, we will be assembling the pole to the base of a lifetime youth basketball system. Your system may look different than the model shown, but the steps performed will still apply. First, slide an axle into each wheel. Position the wheels as shown under the back of the base, then press down on the base until the wheels pop into place. Now slide the right brace, marked with an R, through the top of the base in the location shown. The underside of the base also has an R marking. Do the same for the left brace. On the underside of the base, slide the axle into the hole at the bottom end of the brace. Then push the top of the brace forward until the axle pops into place. Repeat this process for the remaining pole brace. Then check to make sure the flat ends at the top of the braces are parallel to each other. Next, position the bottom of the pole assembly into the recess on the base. Line up the holes in the braces with those in the bottom pole and make sure the adjustment knob is facing back towards the base. Attach the pole to the braces using a pair of pliers or a crescent wrench to hold the tina in place. Please note, the bolt will not pass through the entire width of the pole. The T-nut is designed to fasten to the bolt inside the pole. Now secure the pole assembly to the underside of the base, then tighten any loose hardware before moving on. In this instructional video, we will be assembling the backboard and rim of a lifetime youth basketball system. Your system may look different than the model shown, but the steps performed will still apply. Line up the holes in the backboard brackets with the screw bosses in the backboard, then secure the brackets to the backboard. Bend the backboard brackets by hand, then secure them to the backboard. Slide the rim into place on the backboard, then line up the holes in the top pole with the holes on the backboard brackets and the rim. Secure the backboard, rim, and pole together using the hardware provided. All that's left is to attach the net and you're done. Make sure to fill the base properly and your youth basketball system is ready for play. <laughs> 